Forty-five ethnic groups, thirty thousand kilometers. That's just some of what photographer and author Aniko Naki covered in preparing her exhibition about Sudan. She spent nine months traversing the country alone, photographing and documenting the visual and spoken moments of the country's people. Now, the SOAS University in London is hosting her show. Take a look. I went to Sudan in 2006, uh, working as a development worker, and I did that for two and a half years. And after that,、uh, instead of returning back, I decided to stay and to write a book. And that book wanted to be about、um, Sudanese-ness, about what people think about life, what they say about their life philosophy. This is this is composed、uh, by things we see and by the things they say. So I set out to collect moments in daily life, visual moments and spoken moments. The spoken moments are traditional narratives like、uh, proverbs,、um, folk tales,、um, poems, songs,、um, blessings, ritual texts, whatever people use in their daily life. And the photography are daily moments, those、uh, mundane moments which normally are never newsworthy, but which I believe that they they are very telling of who a people is and and what they do. The exhibition goes through a day in Sudan across its different cultures,、uh, starting from dawn till the late night. And、um, I was basically travelling and asking people, the different people I met with their different lifestyles, what they consider the most typical for themselves. I travelled 30,000 kilometres, and I、um, documented photography and tra traditional narratives from all together 45 tribes and ethnic groups, and they are indeed very, very different and diverse. Um, and they all have their own little share of Sudan. Still, when you put them together, there are things which match things which they have in common. And and I think that's because people naturally influence one another if they live close by. So there is some Sudaneseness between them, which which flickers out through that diversity, and sometimes it recedes and hides. There is a narrative that African countries are poor and need help. And it's such—it's a paradigm so widespread that、um, people in many African countries have bought into it. I think that's not fair because it's based on coverage that deals only with news. And and、um, we've also had conflicts and poverty in the past in the different European countries we live in. But that's not everything that defines us. I believe it's the people who define a place, and that's why. Um, every country deserves、uh, to be known for the most beautiful in in their people, and for that, what, for example, Sudan contributes to the world, which is wisdom, which is beautiful, intangible world heritage, songs, dances, daily life, teachings, humor, and all the other human things that we would otherwise not know.